the best pole dancers in the world will compete in London next month. New Orleans hosted the U.S. competition last week. The craze has crossed the world from the Big Easy all the way to Beijing. And of course, Seth Doan is in the Chinese capital where there is strong turnout at the polls. <laughs> Seth, good morning. Ah, uh, yes, very clever, Sharon. Yes, there is an obesity crisis here in Beijing. The government says one in five people are obese, and they are encouraging everyone to just get up and move, get some exercise. That is taking some to the polls. Beijing is famous for its forbidden city, infamous for its smog, and perhaps not known at all for its pole dancing. But that may change. This spring, performers from 14 countries gathered in China's capital for the World Pole Dancing Championships. We found a classroom full of dancers who may not be champions just yet, but certainly spice up an otherwise unremarkable Beijing office building. Included a student, an aspiring accountant, and a mom. Why did you get involved in pole dancing? I thought like it's a combination of strength and beauty. I found that it's very amazing. Oh, it's unbelievable. I think it's sexy. Sexy. Oh, sexy. The name on their T-shirts is Luo Lan. <laughs> She's been dubbed China's pole dancing pioneer. Or in Chinese, that's Guang Guang Wu Di Ren. I wanted to lose weight after giving birth to my first child, Luo told us. I'd read about people pole dancing, but there was nowhere I could learn about it here in China. So she started her own studio. That was 2005. Today she's expanded to 26 studios and has 10,000 students. Why the popularity now? Mainly because pole dancing had a bad name before, Luo told us. In America, it's often related to strip clubs. It took people a long time to accept it. As incomes rise and more Chinese enter the middle class, they're spending more on fitness. It's a nearly $5 billion industry here. And the way young people, including Paris Lee, finance such interests cuts across borders. You're paying more than $1,000 a, a month for classes. How did you get the money? I borrowed the money from my parents. <laughs> Luo Lan claims pole dancing has roots in ancient China. There was a pole tricks performance during the Han Dynasty. And in the Tang Dynasty, pole dancing was part of acrobatics. There's a saying in China describing women nowadays as tough as men, she said. I believe this is partially to do with the popularity of pole dancing. While it may look effortless, these students aren't just acrobats, but actors. Because they say, this really hurts. And in case you're curious, I did not try it. It was actually so clear, no pollution. Finally, I was able to exercise outside today, Gail. But maybe when the pollution comes back in, I'll go to the pole dancing studio. <laughs> <laughs> Seth, you were reading my mind because I was curious. Did you get up on the pole? Thanks. That was nice. You look no at pole dancing. No way. And if I did, you wouldn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. you nice piece, Seth. Very nice, Seth. You look at the grace and the beauty of pole mm -hmm. dancing. I never thought of it that way before. It looks beautiful when they do it. Clothes have, on. Have you tried? <laughs> <laughs> have I tried? Have you tried it, Sharon? No, have you, Charlie Rose? No. <laughs> How about you, Gail King? You're awfully quiet over there. I tried it once and threw out my back and thought, let me just stick to the elliptical. Because they said it's a good workout. It's supposed to be a good workout. It was very beautiful That's the way true. it looked yeah, there. She was. Very beautiful.